Ancient Silesia is famous for one thing and one thing only. That is pirates. They are the pirates who captured Julius Caesar, who later came back and crucified them. So I decided let's take this faction for a spin in RAS, full of hope and love for the glorious pirate faction, not knowing what was to come. Debts of nearly 30,000 gold, terrible armies, and horrible, horrible terrain. This is truly the worst and most painful start that I've had in this game, and I think you're going to find out why. But before we get going, guys, make sure you do like and subscribe this video. If we get to 100 likes, we will do a part two of this series. And there is a quick note on a bug that you will see in the video. That is just a bug and it will be fixed for the next patch. So don't worry too much about that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, guys, there's plenty of challenge videos that we have done so far. We've played Paphlagonia, Priene, Acragas, all those juicy boys. But today we're taking on a new challenge. Very hard, very hard, of course. As the Silesians, we are trying an emergent faction survival challenge. Whether this is going to work, how bad our start's going to be, I have no idea. I'm not going to reload, by the way, guys. We are going straight into the game, and we are going right there to see what we get in our armies to start with. So, um, let's go. The pirates who uh, took Julius Caesar and were then crucified. Glorious nation. It's always, it's always nerve-wracking when you get to this point where <laughs> when it's going in the background and you're like, oh, what's going to happen? Are we going to get something good? Fingers crossed, my friends. Fingers crossed. Right then, guys. Um, it's loaded. Let's see what we have got. We're making minus 7,000 and we got minus 1,000 to start with. Um, <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks very much. And there we go. I've just expanded my face a little bit bigger so you will get it in its full glory. Let's uh, accept this candidate for adoption first so that it doesn't get cancelled. And then, of course, let's make sure we do tick extreme mode. Oh, I don't care about any of these messages. I just want to see what we have. Okay, we've got some Silesian pirates. Terrible unit. Great. Plus all missile troops. What do we have in this big one? Okay, gold experience, guys. Silesian spearmen. With the gold experience, they're good. But trust me, they're not good. <laughs> Silesian pirates actually look okay with gold experience. <laughs> but they are not good units, my friends. Not good at all. And then over here, we have some more of the same with some Cappadocian skirmisher cav. Are we at war? Oh, we are at war with the Seleucids. Hmm, are we at war with the Ptolemies? We are at war with the Ptolemies. Well, that's a combination for a rainy day, isn't it, my friends? So, I've been having a look at our cities, guys. And, um, yeah, minus 2,000 here, minus 2,000 there, and minus 2,000 there. Um, <laughs> we cannot support such a huge army, so there's two options that we have. We either go full ham at the enemy and try and destroy them or we delete units now which one do you think we're gonna do guys um <laughs> i think it's going ham isn't it well first things first let's get this army moving out of corakizion to ptolemaeus pamphilias there we go and that instantly makes them pretty darn unhappy we're still making minus 2000 i'm assuming that is a bug guys i'm assuming that's a bug, and that's going to get fixed next turn. Do we have another general? We actually don't even have another general. Oh. Well, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's not ideal. I also don't know where any of the other settlements are. So what I'm thinking of doing, leaving these Asian slingers behind. Let's uh, go scouting a little bit. Hello, anyone about? Okay, there is a settlement up there. Let's also leave behind some of these skirmishers. We're going to come up here. We're going to go for Iconion. We can't actually reach Iconion this turn. Oh, my God. Things just going bad from bad to worse, my friends. It's bad to worse. Well, let's end the turn here and let's see what might happen at the end of this turn. Whether the Seleucids are going to come with a full stack and squishers. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. 
Well, not much actually happened in that end turn, apart from the Anatolians, who we are also at war with somehow. How are we at war with everyone? Maybe I should have checked the diplomacy, but we are, like, pretty much just at war with everyone around us. And I'm assuming we don't have any... Oh, we do! We've got a diplomat, bro! Right, let's go tr try and talk to these guys. And we're still on minus 7,000. Be quick. Our patience Come on, I'll give you, is limited. I'll give you map information, bro. Surely, you jest. <sighs> what about what about the Ptolemies? Okay, get that. Ptolemies. Our patience <laughs> is limited. <laughs> oh, I've not felt this much panic since Paphlagonia, guys. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> Wait, rioting in Loranda as well. And we, we've got damaged buildings here that we can't even repair, bro. <sighs> this is this is horrible. Right, we'll take that. We're going to take this settlement too. So, um, with our uh, great army. <laughs> Luckily, like, these areas are quite rich. They should have plenty of buildings to destroy to hopefully make us go positive. So, let's take the first one. Ptolemaeus Pamphilias. Let's go, my friends. Let's go. Well, down go the gates, my friend. Down go the gates. I think we're just going to do the classic thing of, uh, you know, trying to goad them off the town square. Oh, it didn't like that. Honestly, these Pamphylian heavy javelin men are javelin units. But they're probably better than my Silesian pirates in melee. I'm not going to lie. So hopefully our archers and that can do a good job of sorting us out here. Okay, well, here they come, guys. Here they come. This is it. Come on, guys. Get firing. Get firing. We've got to kill that Ptolemaic general's bodyguard. We've also got these guys. I might even bring them further up. They've got a lot of armor and stuff, so, you know, I don't think we're going to do a great job against them. How big is their general's bodyguard? There's only 12 men now. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. My pirates are getting absolutely shredded, and they're just about to get even... Oh, my God. They broke. They literally... They broke, bro. They broke, man. How is that possible? There's nine of them. Oh, my God. They're breaking everything. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. How can this happen, bro? How can this happen? Charge. See if we can do the same. See if we can do the same. Oh, my God. Do you see the amount of our men that just died, bro? God. Oh, my days. Oh, my Lord. That is... <laughs> what? Why is he running now? Are you kidding me? Are you joking? What is going on? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be so difficult. Well, I guess that's less, uh, you know, less upkeep that we have to pay, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Ten to one. Oh, was there really anything else we could do there? That was the correct setup and everything. It's just that guy's broke instantly. <laughs> Look at these stats. <laughs> Asian archers did one, lost 78. Good KD that, bro. Good KD. Sounds like me on COD. Well, that really does scupper our plans because I would rather be coming down along the coast than taking Seleucid land inland because Iconion is not going to be a great city. Let's be honest. Uh, but anyway, let's um, end the turn and see where these guys decide to go. <laughs> well, more and more debt is happening. And I do genuinely feel like this is bugged. Like, what is this upkeep, bro? 2,900. Like, if we have a look in here, which simply has one of these guys, which is their upkeep 398. So it's upkeep minus 2,727. Now... This couldn't be any harder, bro. <laughs> this couldn't be any harder, could it? Really, 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 really. We even have that to contend with now. Although, yeah, army upkeep. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's not showing on here. To be honest, eight thousand two hundred for this army, though. Really? Let's have a look. So five hundred. So that's a thousand, two thousand, probably three thousand. Let's say everyone's five hundred. 4,000, 5,000. Okay, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's just not just not registering in the settlements. Well, while we have 
the option. Let's go up to high to get to minus 1,000, my friends. Minus 1,000. Glorious. Right. Let's do this one. And this time, even without a general, I hope we can win. <laughs> Please. Please let us win. <laughs> oh, God. Well, hopefully now we can actually hit them. We've been trying to hit them with our archers over here, but they just simply can't fire over this building. So, yeah, they've got Isaurian Marauders, which are not a great unit. So, should be nice and easy to kill. We've also got Spearmen here. So, that should be easier to kill the Seleucid General. But, uh, I guess... I guess we'll find out, guys. I guess we'll find out. Okay, they're going to go for the Javi attack. That's fine. Don't mind that at all. I just want you off the town square, you fools. Come on. Get off the town square. <laughs> Looks like we might actually win this one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, let's uh, block them in. Glorious. That should be nice and easy now. Well, there we go. We actually won a siege battle, my friends. And we lost 31 men. Not a 10 to 1 ratio this time. <laughs> Well, I don't think we need to have any second invitations for this. Let's exterminate. And Iconion is also making minus. How? What is this upkeep value, bro? What? What is this? What is, what, what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Someone help me, please. Well, let's destroy all the buildings in here. We're going to try and hold on to it, but... We're now making minus 4,000, guys. That sounds juicy. <laughs> we have to go past these guys, do we? Oh, I don't want to fight them, man. Go away, Antigonids. Uh, not Antigonids. Uh, Anatolians. I just want land, bro. I just want land. Uh, please. <laughs> We're just going to hope he doesn't attack. I, I can't be bothered with that right now. No, no. Just, just no. Well, another general. I mean, we've got to accept it. It's not like we're making any money, really, is it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll stick him in the army as well. Are you kidding me? What, how do we get here? Bro! What? We have to go like this? Really? Are you joking, bro? What is this? No. Ah, oh, god damn it! Like, if I go like this, I feel like we'll go through Selge then. Make more enemies, why don't we? Well, let's do it. <laughs> it's definitely quicker than going the other way, but god damn, that is insane. And as predicted, guys, this way we have been um. Yeah, stuck by Selge, so they better get out of the way. <laughs> I do... If we take Katena, that would be okay. Do we have mining here? No, but it does have a watchtower, so we'd actually be able to see a lot more in this region. Um, minus 18,000 now. Pretty bad. <laughs> it's not great, honestly. Um, the only thing that has changed is we are now gloriously allied with the Cappadocians. What? What happened with the Seleucids, bro? Why are we not at war with them anymore? I don't remember giving, being offered anything. Same as the Anatolians. Hello? Has something just triggered in the game? What's going on, bro? We've still got the upkeep things. 11 from trade. Oh, God. <laughs> well, just, just, just go. Honestly, guys, I didn't even offer the Seleucid ceasefire or anything. And I really don't know why that has happened. Um, they're offering us trade oh, rights right now, which I'm going to accept, but that... A most generous proposal. Okay. One relationship. But um, I'll take I it. Could you give me 20,000 gold for my map information, please, sir? 20,000. Yeah, 20,000. That's probably about right. <laughs> we must oh, decline. no. Oh, come on, Cell. Just get out the goddamn way. Oh! Well, damn. this is too much. This is too much. Get out of my way, you fools. You should not have had your city in this terribly, terrible position. Oh, my God. Oh, my. How are we going to beat that? <laughs> what? Is it, this is the... 
Okay, well, at least they're attacking us. And looking at their army, it looks better than ours. <laughs> We've got two generals, one with 47 men. We have no generals. Well, there's only one thing for it. We've got to try and take out the first army before the second one even gets close. Because there's no way otherwise. Ah, this is... This is pain. This is pain. <laughs> this is pure pain. And they had to do a night battle, didn't they? That no one can see on the recording. Fucking brilliant. Thank you, AI. Thank you. Well, I've decided what we're going to try and do is kill the army that comes in. They're either going to come in in the corner or like here, I believe. So um, let's hope they come in right here. But uh, we can't, can't see anything. Okay, they are coming in right here. Good, good, good. Right, let's go straight up to them. Let's saddle straight up to them and get rid of these fools. And they're actually going straight for the charge. Hopefully we can get a javelin off here. But I very much doubt it. We shall see. Come on, guys. Fire your javelins at the general's bodyguard. He's actually dying pretty quickly. I love to see that. Let's go. Can actually see a little bit now that the uh, guys are on the battlefield. <laughs> and their general has been absolutely ruined by our archers and our javelin men. Very nice indeed. Let's take that off. Let's start attacking the Pamphylians. I'm going to bring my cavalry in soon as well. But I swear he has another general, does he not? Here he is. Well, we should get plenty of javelins off. He's going to charge into the back of his own men, which is going to break his own charge. That's pretty good. Let's get... Oh. Yes! Come on. And where's this other army? It's all the way over here. And I believe that is the bigger of the two armies. But, um... Yeah, we don't need to kill this one because it's not actually the one from the uh, the town. Well, here comes the second army. We are firing our javies into them. One of our guys is getting absolutely shredded by the javies already, though. But I don't think they've got too much heavy stuff. It's a lot of missile men again. The heavy javelin men. Okay, there goes one of our lines. Let's rally. Let's rally. And uh, you guys need to, uh, you know, come forward, really, would be the option here. Uh, Silesian pirates, let's see if we can get you round the flanks. And I'm going to have to kill these uh, javelin men because they are just wreaking absolute havoc on here. I was thinking as well, like, if we ever do get to the point where we can fight, like, properly and we have money, we're going to have to have mercenary armies and they're so expensive. And we have no money. <laughs> like, what are we going to do in that situation? You guys just get there. There we go. Okay, looks like we are breaking them. Glorious, come on. Well, there goes the Greek hoplites. They have been crushed, my friends. They have been crushed. Let's fight these Pamphylian heavy boys now. Turn and face them. And they still have bloody Selgian slingers coming back, do they? Well, that's a bit annoying, but we will send a guy off to deal with them. Come on, men. It's time to go kill these Greek hoplites. How many have we actually killed? Saying they've only got 20% left. We Remember, if we want to take the city, we've got to kill all of these boys. So, uh, yeah, we've got to send our men after all of them. Oh, my God. Their cavalry is coming back, are they? Really? Really? Why is their cavalry coming back? That's just so stupid, man. So stupid. Oh, well, there we go. That was a pretty tense battle. I'm not going to lie. That is weird. Look, both of them inflicted exactly the same amount of casualties. But, um... Yep, only 15 men left in the first army, so we should get the settlement. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. What? How did we not get the goddamn settlement, bro? There's 15 men left. Oh, the general. No, the general's not even in there. How did the guys from the back get into the settlement? Really? That seems so dumb, bro. <laughs> like, why? Um... Let's exterminate here as well. And I'm going to destroy everything that is not economy-based. Like I say, with military-wise, there's not much we can really do for quite some time. Let's have a look at this army. Ah, that's really, it's really not an army that we want to, uh, want to fight, is it, guys? <laughs> Let's be... And we're going to go for... Well, can we get our generals this way? And get them to there. So we can actually stand there. There we go. Good. Right. That's helpful. That's helpful. We're going to have three generals. Okay. They have to go all the way around that way. 
fine. Well, these guys are not going to get there. There's only like four of them anyway. Oh, we're nearly making money. We've just got to get rid of minus like 28,000 by the time we're positive, guys. So, yeah. Oh, this is fun. Well, we managed to scam a little bit of money off the Galatians. What is actually in here? A oh, Matchamoy Swordsman and a General. Well, we've got three Generals. I think, honestly, that shouldn't be too bad. 24 men. Oh, oh, oh. fantastic. Are we making positive? How did we go down in money? Like, how? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, we might actually be making money now. I think it's lying to us. and It's either lying to us on the upkeep or it's lying on the top right corner. Well, this one again, I think we can afford to auto. We're only going to lose a tiny amount of men because we've got those three guys at the front. Oh my god, it's making positive. <gasps> These guys are making positive now too. I think it is ticking down. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's the problem. Am I just being really dumb? Minus 16,000 now, guys. I think we're going to wait here for a turn or two. Just see what this army does. Oh, my God. Where have all those more troops come from? We really just need a ship to just drop us off there. <laughs> what? I don't mind, but why, Cappadocia? Why? <laughs> what are you going to gain from this? Okay, the Ptolemy army has disappeared, guys. It has disappeared. We're going to leave two men in here to govern. Is that enough? Not quite. What about four men? Still not enough. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. Okay, that's that's fine then. Um, And yeah, I was going to try and siege these down multiple at a time. So let's do that and just hope that that Ptolemy army is gone for good, my friends. So we'll take half the army. We can go for Cilion. We've got a Thurio Foroy in there, though. That's... Not ideal. So let's go for a Spendos, and that's a Hoplite and a Machimoy. Um, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Trade rights, maybe? They're very demanding for trade rights. Oh, well. Well, there goes the first settlement of the two that we were sieging down. A pretty nice battle in the end. We trapped the enemy in the streets. Very good indeed. And of course, there is one thing that we can do. And apparently by taking it, we went negative again. We, I was just about to say, we've gone positive. <laughs> we've gone positive. <laughs> We're nearly positive, guys. We're nearly there. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And apparently we can go to there. We have to go around this way, though. Otherwise, we're going to get stuck. So I don't know why it's trying to take us through with the zone of control. But okay. Let's just go bang. 72 because we've got all our generals at the front. And same thing again. <gasps> They're making money. Yes. Come on. Not much, but some. <laughs> some. That's the main thing, guys. We're making some. Okay, we're making some money. Not, not much money, but, but some money. <laughs> oh, that is just glorious. And we're going to be making more. We, we're going to go positive. Ready? Yes! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, glorious, glorious, glorious. That's also a tax one. Oh. <sighs> We can actually repair the walls now here and repair some of the stuff in here. Like the walls. We don't want to be uh, besieged, like dead straight away from being besieged. So, yeah. Anything to repair in here? Actually, the governor's building. Um, <laughs> we still got that stupid uh, upkeep thing. We do, but it's down to minus 340. How about here? Minus 1,000. It's definitely ticking down. I don't know what it is. These ones have it as well. It's very strange. It's very, very strange indeed. Now, with the rest of our money, let's build a port here. That's definitely going to help. How much money is that going to give us? Plus 87. Well, I thought it would help. <laughs> that would do more, really. Plus 70. Hmm. Well, let's build a couple of those. 
And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's end the turn one more time and see what this uh, this Ptolemaic general decides to do. Another candidate for adoption. Oh, I meant to press the tick there. I oh, got that. My my mouse sensitivity might be a little bit too high, <laughs> or I'm just not used to it anymore. But um, oh, look at that. We're making money, guys. <laughs> brings a tear to my eye. It brings a tear to my eye. I don't know how we have survived this. Honestly, I have no idea. We were like minus 30,000 in debt. Minus 28,000 in debt at one point. And somehow we are now making money. And we have a large Ptolemaic army at the door. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. I think this is a good place to end. Finally making money. If you do want part two of this Silesians challenge video... Make sure you get us to 100 likes and we will do a part two. Once again, big thank you to Zero Suit Samus, Pascal De Laurier and David D for being the channel members on the channel. And if you want to get earlier access to some of these videos and some other awesome perks, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. But without further ado, guys, I think we've survived just about. So uh, I'll see you all again on the next video.